Boils, my family. Why, God, why? Welcome to Heaven's Game Show, where God asks you questions and you try to answer. What is, my name is what Joy. Is this, Here's your game show button. Push the button when you know the answer. Okay, okay. Joel. Question number one. Can you answer the question I asked? I don't know. How did I lay the foundation for the year? Yes. God laid the foundations for the earth. He's so awesome and he loves you. Okay, he, uh, I shouldn't have skipped science class. How did that happen? Ah, uh, he, he, he put it down like a, like a, like a tablecloth. Nope. Question number two. Uh, Were you there when I created the earth? <laughs> no. Boys and girls, uh, question number three. I don't understand. Doubtless. You know who decided it length and width? What? Do you know how big and wide the earth is? What God does? Do you know, Joe? I don't have a measuring tape that long. Mm. Number four. Joe, uh, what supports the foundation? One really strong guy? I don't know. God is so strong, he supports the whole world with his word. Oh, okay. Question number five. Mm -hmm. Who plays the karma stone? Oh, Phil from across the street. Wrong answer. God plays the cornerstone of the earth. Question number six. While morning stars <laughs> sang and angels rejoiced, were you there, Job? Was I there? Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> no. God is so glorious. It was for joy that he created this world. Isn't that good to know that, Job? <laughs> yeah. I'll take the game show button. Uh, what does this have to do with me and all my suffering? Good question. <laughs> <sighs> whoa. That was, whoa. Um, I think I get it. I think. I think number one, uh, you are big and you're awesome and it's more than I can even understand and even though I don't understand what's happening to me and my life right now, it doesn't take away the fact that you're big and that you're awesome and that you created everything including me with joy and if your joy is in it God, then I guess I'm in it too. Hmm. <laughs> Hey kids, so good to see you. Today we are talking all about the joy of the Lord. And I don't know, but have you ever thought about happiness and joy and kind of wondered what's the difference? Well, that's a really great question. And that's a question that I'm gonna help you to answer today. So I have an experiment that we can do to talk about the difference between happiness and joy. So before I show you how this experiment works, hmm, happiness is the kind of feeling we have when everything is going our way. Everything is working out, everything is great, we have a great feeling of happiness. But is joy the same thing? Hmm, let's see what the Word of God tells us. In 1 Peter 1 verse 8, it says that those who believe in Jesus shall be filled with inexpressible and glorious joy. Hmm, that sounds kind of different than happiness. Let's find out the difference with this experiment. So boys and girls, what do you need? Well, you need an adult because this experiment has matches and you can definitely not do this experiment without an adult. So first find someone who's willing to do it with you so that you can stay safe. The other thing you need is two balloons, okay? So step one, you take your first balloon and you go to the faucet or the tap and you fill it up, 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 up with lots of water. Okay, that's kind of fun. When it's filled, then you blow the balloon up to about this size and you tie it. You can ask an adult to help you if you need, okay? Once you've done that, we're going to take a black marker and draw 
a happy face on the balloon. So this balloon is going to represent the joy that Jesus gives us. The next step, we're going to take a second balloon, but this time we're not going to fill it with water. So I'm going to blow it up and make it the same size. And tie it on the end. And this balloon without water is going to represent happiness. And I'm going to draw a happy face on here as well. Now, just so that I remember, I'm going to write the word happy. H-A-P-P-Y. Happy. And on this balloon, I'm going to write the word joy. J O Y. The joy that only Jesus can give. Okay, the next step, now you definitely need an adult for this part. We're going to take the matches and light our candle. Now, before I do that, the candle, the fire, is going to represent the kind of difficult things that happen sometimes in our life. It happens every day to us that we find that maybe something is not working the way we want it to. Like maybe you got to school and there was a replacement teacher for the entire day and your favorite teacher was absent. That's kind of like a difficult day. Maybe you forgot your lunchbox and you didn't have anything to eat at lunchtime. That's something else that's pretty difficult. There's many things that happen that sometimes make us have a difficult day. So the fire is going to represent having a difficult day. Now, boys and girls, if I'm having a really difficult day and I don't feel very good, but I started off feeling really happy, I had a happy feeling, everything was going okay, and then all of a sudden, something didn't work properly. Like I said, I had a replacement teacher. Now, what happens to happiness when something difficult comes along? Let's find out. So we're gonna hold the balloon without the water, the happy balloon, over the flame. And let's see what happens. Oh, it popped! Oh my goodness, the happiness just disappeared, just like that. That means that when difficult things happen, our feelings of happiness disappear too. That means that happiness is temporary and that everything has to be going good in our lives to feel happy. That's very interesting. I wonder if joy that Jesus gives us is the same. Let's find out. So now we're going to light the candle again. Now remember, never try this at home without an adult. So now the balloon that has water in is our joy. Joy of the Lord is given to us and it remains in us. It doesn't leave. We can experience the joy of the Lord no matter what is going on. Even when things are not easy, we can still experience the joy of the Lord. It's supernatural. It's incredible and amazing. So when something difficult happens, does joy just disappear? Let's find out what happens with this balloon. I'm going to hold this balloon over the flame. Hey, it's not popping. Wow, that is so cool. Makes me think that maybe the water inside this balloon is kind of like the Holy Spirit in our lives. When we have the Holy Spirit, who's our helper, even when difficult things come along, even when there's fire that's trying to burn us, the Holy Spirit protects us and we protect our joy. So we can still experience joy and contentment 
because we have Jesus and the Holy Spirit living in us. So boys and girls, remember, happiness is temporary, but the joy that Jesus gives is permanent. It's always there. We can experience it no matter what comes our way. So remember that the joy of the Lord is our strength. It's your strength. It's my strength. Boys and girls, how awesome is that? Jesus is awesome. So try this at home. Share it with your friends, your family. But just remember to stay safe and do it with an adult. Until next time, we love you. We can't wait to see you again. Bye for now.